Hello Virgo, this is Eva at Moongoddess Oracle and this is your Virgo love reading uh, which is titled Who, What, You Don't See Coming. This is your reading if your Sun, Moon, Rising Sign or Venus is in Virgo. Also, if, you're, if you are the, the cross watcher which means your love interest is Virgo, the energies are reversible and the message can actually be for you. So, let's see what Virgo doesn't see coming. I feel three cards to work with. What Virgo doesn't see coming. So we already have two. Can we have one more? What Virgo doesn't see coming? Or who Virgo doesn't see coming? Can we have one more card, please? <laughs> it is thinking about it. Can we have one more card, please? And we've got it. So, the bottom of the deck is the thinking woman. Okay. Um, so, this is the underlying energy. So, what or who you don't see coming, it could be a kind of... Um, very intellectual person in your life, it doesn't matter whether it's man or woman, um, who brings some kind of information, some kind of lesson, teaching for you. We've got the woman holding a heart. We've got a man holding a heart. And we've got the first chakra, Archangel Michael. Let me just think about this for a second because it's a bit challenging, this one. So, the two sides of the man holding the heart, we've got number eight. So, that's abundance. Abundance in love and uh, abundance in every area of your life, manifesting things. This man holding the heart, I feel, is... Um, helping you to move towards your goals because it's number nine and of course the thinking woman is number 11 so okay let's just let's just get some clarity on these guys here because it is um, slightly confusing so what or who Virgo doesn't see coming? Definitely, you don't see someone coming who is in love with you or maybe you have this person in your... Uh, around you, like a friend or a colleague or someone who you already know but you are not aware of their feelings, whether man or woman. It's really interesting, both energies are here, the man and the woman. Okay, so could we please have clarity on the woman holding a heart? So what Virgo doesn't see or who Virgo doesn't see coming? And we've got the hanged man. Can I have one more please? The page of wands. And let's have another one. Two, three, okay. Right, so we've got a proper story here. So we have the hanged man with the page of wands, the page of cups, the two of wands, and the ten of cups. Okay, let's see what it is. So this woman holding a heart, it is a passionate new beginning, a loving new beginning, a choice you need to make. And by finding a new perspective, 
you are getting closer to your happiness. I am beginning to feel, Virgo, that this woman holding a heart is you. What you don't expect is to fall in love. You don't expect to fall in love. So when you actually start to fear that you are falling because there is the passion, there is the love coming as pages, so it's starting to develop, you feel you need to make a choice because you do fear that it can lead you to happiness, the Ten of Cups. So you are uh, trying to see a new perspective, trying to find a new way. So what you don't expect is to fall in love. Now let's clarify the man holding a heart. So why is it here? What or who Virgo doesn't see coming? What can we know about this man holding a heart? What can we know about this man holding a heart? What can we know about? Can we have one more? Thank you. Okay. So this man holding a heart is someone who is coming towards you, who is in love with you, and I believe he is going to express that to you. And the two of you will fall in love with each other. Now, at the bottom of the deck, we've got the Emperor. So this guy, this energy, is a very strong leader. Leader energy with the Judgment card, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Knight of Swords. So I feel that he is going through big soul lessons, transitioning, transforming, and... Um, he is very determined to keep coming towards you and getting more and more impatient to express how things are. Yeah, he is the emperor, so he is very uh, logical and um, he really is uh, putting thought into every step he takes. Uh, he is thinking through stuff could be an earth sorry no an air sign and and he is not exactly sure what to do right now because he's going through this growth period um he he needs a bit of rest and rejuvenation but in a king of swords he definitely is forming a strategy king of pentacles so he is a uh, um becoming more committed to what he wants to do. He is definitely working on things, maybe even escaping to work and making progress. He's quite tired, but he's keep pushing. He is trying to find clarity in the situation. He is looking within, so he seems a bit closed off, but he, he wants this to come together, to be as a couple, to express his love to you. He wants to work on this. So he is coming, expressing his love to you. You fall in love. That's shocking you, but you fear you can be happy together. Well, it's so far like a proper love story here, Virgo. And let's see what is this Archangel Michael card, the first chakra, this manifestation card about. Okay, what is this manifestation card about? What Virgo doesn't see coming? What Virgo doesn't see coming? What Virgo doesn't see coming? Thank you. What Virgo doesn't see coming? What Virgo doesn't see coming? Thank you. Okay. So this um, first chakra, which is about manifestation. It's... 
is um, clarified by the Death God, the Six of Swords, and the Queen of Cups. And the bottom of the deck is the Eight of Swords. So the Queen of Cups is you, Virgo. She is in love. And I feel that you wanted this love. Now you manifested it. It is in your life. And I am sorry to say this, but this is the word is delivered to me. It's almost like inconvenient right now. Because I feel that it could be a person who you wanted to manifest, definitely. And look, she, this person here is you, is very much like, oh my God, I never will be able to be happy again. And this um, skeleton behind is like, I never will be happy ever again. And the death card is about something ending and uh, a new beginning. So I feel like you completely settled for it's never going to happen ever you even started to move on you thought it's just not worth the hustle it's just like you on your own forever and um, you might be even moving house and then you realize you are in love finally you are in love when you least expect it and I have to say, that's how things usually happen. I'm going to look at the bottom of the deck here. So there is um, the Seven of Pentacles delays. You put your work in, you waited and waited and waited and waited, and this never showed. And then after you decided to move on, literally move on even moving house moving locations move on with your life then this person uh, comes in on his horse and the queen of cups comes with the world card so now you are in a position where You are finishing off a chapter in your life, a huge cycle. But you need to step through that threshold. And you are kind of finishing off the decoration there and getting ready to leave everything behind. You are now... Um, able to look after yourself to stand on your feet you are healing you are going for your wishes in life what you truly want and then this three of pentacles shows that um, maybe you could live your life with someone so that causes an inner fight within you and you need to make a choice And then we've got the Six of Pentacles, which is balance and equal giving and receiving and also balance in money, in abundance. And you feel completely stuck. So Virgo, I feel that um, what is coming, what you don't see coming, is this person confessing his love to you. And you finally feel that your heart is beating faster. You are also in love. You allow yourself to feel that love because I think you have been love with, in love with this person. It, for, I know for some of you it could be completely a news uh, to figure out this person is in love with you. But for some of you I feel that you waited for this person for a long, long, long time and he hasn't appeared and now when you are ready to leave everything behind he is coming 
and that turns your world upside down. Wow, that's that's a big one. Sorry, I keep hitting the microphone. Okay, so I'm not sure if we could ask anything else. Because it's very clear, you will fall in love, which you didn't expect. This person is confessing his love, that's why this new situation is coming. You manifested this person, you wanted this love in your life. But it seems to come at an inconvenient time. That's what I am getting. Let's just look into the bottom of this deck. I am intrigued, honestly. And yeah, there is a lot there. So, let me have a little bit more time. So you needed lots of patience to sit through this. And you connected with like-minded people in the meantime. And you felt victorious coming to close the cycle number 10. You really connected with the universe. You started to feel what you want. And uh, you even ending a contract. So possibly separating, divorcing someone. And there is the man holding a coin. So someone you met who is a like-minded soul um, who you had maybe a friendship with I feel and the garden and the gate so you decided it's time for you to move on there is some attachment issue you work worked through it's number five it's a change and as as the result you um, now are able to think about moving on your own, living your life on your own and doing everything um, on your own terms. And then the tower is hitting, the storm is coming just to finish off this cycle with a bang. And another number 10 here, which is rest and rejuvenation. So now you are taking your time to just breathe and think it through and Number five, change is coming. This attachment is uh, moving through you. You are really connected to the universe. You are using your wisdom, following your intuition, and you are healing. You are walking your spiritual path. You are receiving guidance from above. And there is this heat. So I feel that when this tower, the storm hits, that's when you realize that you were... Uh, well, it can be understood in different ways for different scenarios, whichever you are relating to. So for some of you, it could be that you were part of a very deceitful, toxic connection, which you didn't notice. That it could be this friendship that appeared in your life, who you thought is a like-minded person, could be like-minded, but maybe a very manipulative person, um, and maybe not on your spiritual level. So this thinking woman, which is the underlying energy here, could be your own intellect saving you in a way. And definitely working through your own illusions of maybe not, um, I'm talking about the deceit again, maybe not um, admitting to yourself that you were in love. And you were just trying to move on because that was the least painful option. And you ran out of time, you couldn't wait any longer in one place, you needed to move. Yes, we'll go. this is what I've got for you. I hope it resonates. Do let me know. Please keep liking, sharing, subscribing, uh, commenting. And um, I do have a half price offer on my love readings to go and check out. Um, I love connecting with you uh, on a personal reading. That's a much deeper one. And um, I can't wait to connect with you. Um, 
Anyway, I hope you have a lovely day and I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.